I'm sorry it's been so long since I've uploaded a video. I still don't even know what the title of this video is going to be called because I'm really frustrated. I'm really frustrated because, well, as you know, I kicked off a trek for change um, towards the beginning of the month, uh, the first day of the month, and I only made it two days to riding this bicycle that I have beside me to California and recording the trek. And I'm really frustrated because, uh, not because of the accident, we'll talk about that in a minute, but I'm more um, because I, I, I lost all the data that I had stored in a hard drive. And all of that data uh, was video and photos of the first two days of shortly before and shortly after the accident. And even some video and photo that I had stored up um, covering my recovery of, of the process of what's been happening. And so that's why I haven't been uploading video. I'm really frustrated and I'm sorry that I haven't been able to do that. So I'm shooting a quick candid video with my iPhone. Today we're going to talk about the bike and the current configuration, what I'm making changes or how I'm making changes to it so that this accident doesn't happen, and uh, how you can follow a trek for change, what to expect in the future, and all that good stuff. So I hope that you pay attention here and um, feed, give me feedback with some of your ideas because I'm still looking at ideas on ways to reconfigure the mounting point for the trailer so that the trailer um, uh, doesn't cause me to have an accident this next time around. So first off, let's talk about the bike and its setup. Uh, before I left on the trek, I did not have, excuse me, these North Street bags attached to the bike. Uh, the reason why is I still didn't have racks. So these are Old Man Mountain racks from Channing. He's the owner of Old Man Mountain. And uh, we didn't have the funds at the time to get the racks and so uh, I had the the panniers and the racks were going to be shipped to me in, in Mississippi and I was pulling this trailer. Now the trailer's not attached to the bike because I've started to make some modifications to it. Um, the reason why I had the accident was because I had one of these panniers strapped on top of this uh, trailer. I didn't have any weight other than um, a couple of things items up here on the dashboard that I built for the bike but I didn't have any weight on the bike which put all the weight in the trailer and well you know what a pickup in a trailer will do going down a hill if you have too much weight in the back end it'll start to fishtail the harmonics get off and and it just the same thing happened to me this trailer started to wag back and forth and as I'm coming down a hill at about 30 to 35 miles an hour uh, my front tire was just skipping on the road and I had no control and I lost it and that's what caused my injuries. Uh, this is the tongue of the trailer and those quick connect latches go over a peg that sticks out of the back axle. Now I've taken the peg off the back axle. I've put the regular back axle back into the bike. I've mounted the, um, the racks in the rack mounting locations on each side of the bike. And uh, the rack is ready to roll with the North Street bags attached. These are handmade North Street bags. They're made in the United States, in Oregon, uh, by Curtis. He's got several employees now, and they're a growing company. And he was kind enough to sponsor these bags. And they're beautiful. They really are. They're waterproof. And I'm grateful for that sponsorship. I still need to get some bags to go on the front. So as soon as I have bags to go on this front side, uh, I will be able to distribute the weight a little bit more effectively. And then secondly, I'm modifying this trailer. Now, I've been doing a lot of research on trailers for bikes, and I've decided that it is just not prudent to try to take a two-wheeled trailer for this amount of distance for a few reasons. One of the reasons is, is that it adds two sets of parts. So you get two axles, two hubs, two wheels, two tires, um, and so you double up everything. Secondly, uh, is it adds width to the uh, width of your bike going down the road. So if you're cruising down the road and you have a trailer that's two feet wide, then it sets you out into the traffic another foot or a foot and a half versus uh, where you would be set into the traffic if you only have one tire track to worry about and I, I can almost get the bike all the way into the, the over the white line if there's no berm to ride on. I can at least ride right on or ride alongside the white line. And uh, I wouldn't be able to do that if I had 
two trailers or two wheels on the trailer. Thirdly, there's only a single tire track to worry about when you're tracking and you're dodging debris along the side of the road. Now, a lot of you might not think it, but there's a lot of debris along the side of a road. And so dodging that becomes important and being nimble in its ability to do it. Uh, another reason why two wheels on a trailer just gives you three tire tracks to worry about the bike and the two wheels on the trailer. So I decided not to go that route. And uh, so since I'm, maybe I'm stubborn, maybe I'm not, but since I decided that a single wheel trailer is the way to go, uh, and this one was purchased, there's several others that could potentially work. Um, there's a couple of other single wheel trailers that are built very identical to this that mount to the back axle, but the problem became apparent that I wasn't gonna mount this to the back axle of the bike and be able to mount these racks to the back end of this bike. It's just not set up. The bike isn't set up for it and I really couldn't find any racks that would work without doing some serious modification to the mounting points. Um, which would void the warranty on the bike, etc. So, um, and I know I'm packing a lot of information in here, but I want you to understand my perspective. So, what I've decided to do is to modify the hitch on this trailer. And I've already unhooked the front part of this trailer. This is gone, and we won't even use it anymore. And what we'll do is we'll come up. Here, let me, let me, uh, let me re-set up this camera. So what I'll be using for the mounting point of the trailer is to bring a, a tube, an aluminum tube, up. I was sitting on the dark bed, watching the tears. 